Hello and welcome guys. So in the last video, we completed our model evaluation on test set data. So this is the classification report of our model and this is the confusion matrix. Okay. So in this video, we will do a model prediction on some test set data. Okay. So we'll use some test images from any of this folder. We'll use some random image and we will give to our model and we'll see what our model is predicting. Okay. So let's close this. So let's create one new file model prediction dot ipynb okay so this notebook i am creating where i will perform model prediction okay so first i am importing all the required libraries so first library i need is tensorflow so from tensor import tensorflow stf and from tensorflow dot keras dot application dot mobile net underscore v3 i want to import pre-process input so here we are using mobile net architecture mobile net v3 we are using so i am importing from mobile net v3 i am importing this pre-process input function okay and uh, i need numpy so i'm importing numpy as np and i'm also importing os okay so i'm selecting my kernel so tensorflow okay so why i am doing this if you want to know then you can go to to the keras api to see this okay so just search here this thing so from here you can get like if you click on this then mobile net v3 large we are using okay so this thing we are using for image classification use case see this okay so you can click this okay so if you see this thing then here they have mentioned that how you can classify your image okay so like they are using here from keras dot application this thing they are using and they are importing this pre-process input and they are uh, using that to do that okay so like they are uploading some elephant image and they are converting those image into array and then they are applying this pre-process function and they are doing model prediction okay so using this you can also do a prediction okay so it's saying that no module name tensorflow so here applications we have to use okay that's why it's saying that uh, no name found okay so we successfully executed this cell so here we have to use this applications and uh, now i will reload my model so to reload i will use tf dot keras dot models i will use dot load model i will use and inside this i have to pass the model so i will use this trained this thing so i will copy relative path and i will paste here okay and let's run this okay if i do here model dot summary then you will see the same model which we trained earlier so this is the model so this is the output layer okay now we will do a prediction so first i will define image path okay so image path i am taking any any image like let's take some dozen image okay so i am taking this thing so copy relative path from here and this i am taking from test set okay so make sure that you are also taking from test set okay and then i will define one img variable and in this i will define tf dot keras dot utils i will use dot load image i will use and in this i will pass the image path okay image underscore path and i will resize it to 224 cross 224 why because we have trained this uh, model on 224 cross 224 so first we have to resize it okay and if i print here img then you will see so this is the resize image which we are getting here okay so now this image we have to convert this img into array form okay so i will define some x variable and i will do tf dot keras dot I will use utils dot and I will use img to array function which will take image and convert it into array and I will pass this img variable and if I print here x then you will see so this is the this is the x which we are getting so our image is is converted into uh, array if I show you the shape so this is the shape which we are getting 224 cross 224 cross 3 okay perfect now we have to expand this dimension so i will use here np dot expand dims i will use this thing and i will pass here x and second argument i will give x is equal to zero i will give let's see the x dot shape okay so now i am getting this one 
cross 224 cross 224 cross 3 so why I, I have added this one here because I want it to be in the same format like our model is trained on batches so that's why we have to create a batch of this image so that's why I have added one more dimension here okay and now I will feed this to pre-process input function okay this pre-process input uh, function will feed so it will convert it into the same format in which our uh, mobile net architecture will accept the input okay so that's why we are performing some pre-processing here okay so i have successfully pre-processed and if i show you the shape then the shape will be same okay so we have performed all the pre-processing which is required before feeding to the to our mobile net architecture okay so pre-processing is completed now we are ready to perform our prediction so i will define here pred is equal to a model dot predict i will use and in this i will pass x simple okay and we have done our prediction if i show you the result then you will see that this is the result which we are getting so it's saying that 0 0.06 is the probability that it belongs to first class 0 0.01 is the probability that it belongs to second class and 0 0.089 is the probability that it belongs to third class and actually it is from third class okay if you see here actually it is from dozen okay this is first class this is second class this is third class and this is fourth class okay so our model is saying that it belongs from fourth class so to to take the exact prediction before that we have to define our class name okay so to define our class name in the same pattern in the same way we have to define this list first is cnv second is dme and third is dozen and fourth is this normal okay so we have defined our class and then what we will do we will define our index result index and in this result index we want to store the maximum value index okay so this is the maximum value so we want to retrieve this index so 0 1 2 so this is on second index so to retrieve the maximum index maximum value index we will use here np.argmax and inside this we will pass this prediction okay and if i print here result index then you will see that we are getting here 2 okay now to perform prediction we can uh, feed this to our class name okay we can feed this value class name we can feed this as an index and we will get our result so we are getting here dozen okay we can print here message also like this print model prediction okay like this if you feed so you will get your answer so this is what model is predicting for this image okay for this image so you can write here function also which will take image path as input and it will return you the model prediction okay so if i summarize this entire thing okay so first we have reloaded the model which we trained earlier okay and then we have uh, taken any random image from test set and then we resize those that image into 224 cross 224 and then we have seen that it is in the form of image so we converted the, that image in the array form so we got 224 cross 224 cross 3 matrix so then we expanded the dimension so that we can convert it into batch like this because our model is trained on batches so we converted into batches and then we applied this pre-process input function on that for one batch of image so that we can convert it into the same format in which this model mobile net architecture accept so in the same format we have converted so that we get accurate answer okay so that's why we applied this pre-process function and then we use this model dot predict and we pass this uh, whatever we got from this pre-process input we passed here and we got our result in the form of probability of all the classes okay so out of this all probability we want to extract only the maximum value of the probability so to extract the maximum value we want to extract the index of that maximum value so that we can take that index and we can pass to our class name and we can retrieve them the that index which is having maximum uh, probability okay so that's why we take in this index and we pass this index to our class name list and we got our answer okay so this is how you can do a prediction okay
सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल यूज दीज कॉन्सेप्ट टू बिल्ड ए वेब एप्लीकेशन ओके सो थैंक यू गाइज थैंक्स लॉर्ड फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो